Welcome back to uh, lot number four of these one pound bags that uh, I bought from a five one pound bag lot off of eBay. And I would say so far that these have been worth it, although it's a mix of good, bad, and ugly. So there's some uh, interest, very interesting coins in horrible damaged condition. Uh, there's a small number of uh, boring coins because we see them all the time, but there's also some nice coins that don't get seen all that often. And I encourage you to watch the first video as we kind of look at the lot. I got this because the seller had really bad pictures of this, but I saw some interesting things in it. The interesting things turned out to not be that interesting, but um, I encourage you to check out the first video if you haven't seen it already. And we're going to start to dig in here. Let's get all these on the screen. I'm going to speed through the stuff that's not that interesting like this. Australian ten cent, ten finig. Uh, here's an aluminum ten lira from Italy. This is a little interesting. Uh, I have a couple of these already, but this is a Max Planck two mark coin from Germany, and uh, I think it's interesting because it, on a commemorative coin, I've actually heard of this guy. There was a kind of a running joke that I had in high school about Planck's constant, which was named after him. So here's the Mexican five peso that I think looks like a casino token. Here is a, looks like the, the is it one of these old tin coins from Japan that looks like it's uh, well worn, the, like it has paint that's worn off of it. We've got a lot of these uh, uncirculated one pence coin. Here's a Taiwanese coin that is not as common as some others that we see. Shanghai shek on it is a, for a larger copper nickel coin. Here's a larger coin from Norway. This one is going to be a five kroner coin from 1963. So let me pause for a moment and uh, check this one out in the catalog. If I said Denmark, I meant uh, Norway. So this is their first five kroner coin that was not silver. Still has a uh, book value of about two dollars in that condition. So here's a uh, Five Agarat coin, I think that's what it's called. Here's a common 10 ruble from Russia. Here's a, a Denmark 1 or 10 yen. They're at Norway 5 or with a 7 monogram on it. And we've seen a lot of these very well-worn Mexican, or just a lot of well-worn coins from over 120 years ago. This one is a 1 centavo coin from 1891 and is with as bad shape as this one is it's still better than the one that we saw in the last video so i still i think i had that coin this uh pretty common two fin coin from china here's another five kroner coin from 1966 this is the one from denmark so uh That's a pretty nice coin. I think I had it, but uh, still good to see those. Common 20 francs. Now, this is uh, Scandinavia hour tonight. And we've got another Denmark coin, 1994, 50 ore. Common Denmark 25. And then we've got a Denmark 5 ore. This is zinc with uh, the R, the knight. The Spain 5 facade is pretty common. I believe this coin is from Morocco, but I have it. All right, we've been seeing a lot of these coins with tape damage, but um, this one is Spain, I think. Ten centimos. From 1870, I think that says. Well, the it looks like it, but... Not sure where he got all these tape damaged coins that are so old, but that's still, uh, you know, kind of interesting. Here's a, uh, a tin finig kind from 1967 from East Germany. They didn't use that design very long, so that's kind of a rarer version of that. Here's an aluminum five francs from Morocco. Or they're going to call it the uh, Empire Cherifine. The date of 
Arabic 1370 on that one. Here is a two kroner from Denmark. We had a one kroner in a previous bag. Common one cent. The Jama uh, that's a uh, British modern five pence that's uh, small. Here's an older uh, 10 centavos from Portugal, but pretty bad. Let's see, here's a South African two cent. Common Irish, here's a common British penny. Another Norway, one krona. That's common. That's common. All right, this one uh, is interesting. We've got a one lira coin from Vatican City. And that looks like that's in excellent condition. 1942. And so their coins change along with the Pope. So that says Pius the Twelfth on this side, Pontiff. Let's look up this Vatican one lira coin. Well, I had this coin, but it, this uh, has a uh, book value of three fifty on it. They made this other years, but in very limited quantities in other years. So, uh, any other year, this coin would be worth. Uh, triple digits. So that one's a nice pickup. We've got another zinc uh, coin from Denmark. Mexican five peso. I like that coin. This one's in uh, kind of worse shape than I would normally like it. Got a uh, another five peseta from Spain. Uh, 20 pence from Britain. 25 peseta from Spain. It's a common uh, coin from the Bahamas of uh, 25 cents, but it's got a sailboat, and this one's in nicer shape than uh, what I normally see. The common one peseta, although this one's in really good shape for 1966. British penny, uncirculated two pence, although this one's a newer design from 2005, but still pretty common. I don't recognize this. Gran Almirante Miguel Grau Un Inti. What country is this going to be from? Peru. 1986. I do not recognize this at all. Uh, what's an Inti? Uh, they, I'm used to them using the Sol de Oro. Let's look up this one. So for the Second half of the 80s, they used the Inti instead of the Soul. And I'd never seen one of these before. So uh, this coin is worth a dollar. So that's uh, certainly something I don't see every day. Here is a two-mark aluminum coin from East Germany. That one's uh, not seen too often. The Trinidad and Tobago. Here's a one-cent coin from Australia. Barbados uh, pennies, pretty common. From Iceland, we have uh, ten uh, or four fish on the ten kroner coin. That's a, a modern coin. Another five pence from Britain. Here's French aluminum five francs when that wasn't worth much. Here is the one hundred peso from Mexico. Actually, kind of common. Here's a British uh, two shillings, that's common. Another, uh, well this side looks uncirculated, but the, uh, this side looks well worn. That's weird how that happens. Here's a, a two forint coin from Hungary. Not all that rare. Cayman Island, another Irish coin, another British half penny, another two pence. This uh, Italian coin is worn in a weird way. I got, got uh, run over by something. So here's an aluminum uh, two franc coin from French Polynesia. It's a uh, rarer country you don't see as often. That's 1986. Here is a Hong Kong dollar from 1978. A uh, scout coin from Bahamas, uh, 10 cents with the uh, fish, 1966. Uh, Here's the older five pence, which was a lot bigger than the, the newer one. The Spain 25 pesetas. Here's another 10 pence. Another five pesetas. Here we have uh, West Africa Union of 
multiple countries make up this uh, currency. 50 francs from 1974. These were all countries which were at one point uh, ruled by France, but they stayed together for their currency when that was done. It's a Tin Heller coin from Czechoslovakia, pretty common. From Malta, we have the two cent coin. Malta coins aren't uh, common, but that one is probably the most common one they've got. See, this is a five centavos coin from Brazil. Didn't recognize it at first. Another Bahamas five cents with the pineapple. It's a uh, one kroner from Norway with the five monogram. It's a nice design. I think I have it, but I'm not sure. Here's a... Uh, saw one of these in an earlier video. I don't think I had too many of these, if any. A one centimo coin from the Philippines with the Lapu Lapu on it. And a tiny coin, and not as easy, harder to find than the peso, even though it's worth nothing. Uh, 20 centavos, really common. Let's see, we've got the, uh, I think this is Belgium from uh, five francs. Common 100 lira. Common uh, 10 ore. Saw one of those already. Well, that's. Uh, well, I was surprised to find a silver coin in the last video. This one's also silver, and I think that's about 40 cents of silver, because this is about a 40% 40 uh, 40 silver coin. So there's, you know, if you lose one of these, there's nothing to lose sleep over. So uh, still, uh, I'll take it, because, you know, add it to the silver stack. We've got another uh, two cent from South Africa. We've got another of these uh, five or... Here's a pretty coin you don't see as often. It's uh, 20 Karuna. And the coin has a lot of detail. So it shows a knight on a horse. A lot of words in the background are along, along that stripe. And it's going to be from the Czech Republic. $0.25. Cent. And Finnig. So uh, let's see a... Uh, Costa Rica, I believe, 1983, and then we've got a, don't know what that is, too well worn, five wrapping, pretty common, Trinidad Tobago, 25 cent, 10 Stotinki from Bulgaria, not a common country, but that might be the most common coin, it's a half a franc. Another five wrapping and another five wrapping and it might be the tenth of these Rhodesia and Nylon coins that I've gotten out of this lot from uh, Zimbabwe today. We've got a five escudos and we're going to finish with a common one shilling, although that one is uh, almost uncirculated. All right, I'd, I'd still say this is a win. Uh, uh, several nice coins in here. And uh, I'm about to finish this video. Just uh, check out the CMID TN Foreign Coin Showcase playlist, and I'll do the fifth and final bag in one more video that'll probably post tomorrow. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.